Hello, and welcome to a brief tutorial on using your voice with Windows XP. You will need a microphone for this tutorial. Once you have your microphone, what you'll need to do is go to the Start menu, and then go to Control Panel. From Control Panel, go to Speech. If this is your first time in Speech, it will walk you through a tutorial automatically. If someone's already done that on your computer, or if the tutorial does not automatically open, go up to New. This tutorial will will take you 10 to 15 minutes to go through. Once you've done that, it will create a profile for you. So once you've set up a profile, you're then ready to use your voice in many Microsoft Office applications. Take a look at how that works in Microsoft Word. Okay. In Word, when you're ready to use your voice to dictate text, what you'll want to do is go down to your taskbar. Right click on it. Now the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to unlock the taskbar and pull it up just a little bit. You'll see why in just a moment. After pulling up the taskbar, right click on it again and go toolbars, language bar. You'll notice the language bar appears nicely in this part of your taskbar. Whenever you'd like to use your voice with Microsoft Office, you'll need to click on the microphone. Then click where you'd like to talk. You'll notice it says the microphone is on. I'm going to click back where I wanted to talk, and then click here where it says dictation. As I speak, you'll notice words begin to appear in the Microsoft Office document. You'll also notice that some of the words are not perfect because I have not gone through all of the training. But the more training that you do, the better it will get. Let's say that you are done doing your dictation and you'd like to save the document. What you need to do is click on Voice Command. File. Save As. You'll notice when I told it to, to when I said File, it opened up the File section. And when I said save as, it gave me the prompt to give the document a name. So that's a brief tutorial on how to use your voice with Windows XP.